what battery tests can you do on your motorcycle? Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. So this video I'm talking about motorcycle uh, batteries. Uh, now, how can you test them? What are the different tests that you can do? What are the figures you're really looking for? And what does it mean if you're not achieving those figures? Right, let's get into it. Now for this video, I'm talking about the Harley Davidson Softail. I've got the Sport Glide here. So if you've got a different motorcycle uh, or different manufacturer, the figures will be different. So you know you will need to get a service manual or electrical service manual for that particular motorcycle that will give you those figures. But as a ballpark, this might be uh, helpful for you. Regardless of what motorcycle you're riding or working on, the procedure for getting these figures is exactly the same. Okay, so first of all, you'll need a, a multimeter to do all these tests. Uh, I've got a, a basic one I've had for many years. Uh, it still works perfectly fine, a bit battered and bruised. Uh, I do have my clamper meter now, which I've got probes on, uh, but say, you know, you could use either one. Now, all you have your COM probe, your negative on the, the COM port at the bottom, and you have the positive probe on the, uh, the volt setting. The next one, uh, you'll set it to DC volt or DCV, and actually, because we know we're only going to go up to, you know, 15 uh, volts maximum, let's say, because these are 12 volt supplies, uh, you know, you put it on the 20 volt uh, system, and that will give you the reading that you actually want. Now, when we're talking about battery charging, if you've got a, a trickle charger or a battery tender, what this particular manufacturer says is for their batteries, they should have a maximum output of 14.6 volts and also 5 amps. So essentially, when you're testing the charging of this motorcycle battery, you're actually testing for a maximum around about 14.6. And that charging is done from the voltage regulator. So later on in this video, once we do that test, we shouldn't be looking for anything more than 14.6. But before then, uh, I'm just gonna test the state of the battery as it is. Now, whenever you're doing any electrical testing on your motorcycle, make sure you've got a fully charged battery. That's always what you want. Now for this particular motorcycle, it's for 100% charge, it's 12.7 volts. For 75%, it's actually 12.6 volts. For 50%, it's 12.3 volts. For 25%, it's 12 volts. And at 0%, it's 11.8 volts. Now, if I get a, if I get a lot more than 12.7 volts on this battery, uh, then that means there's something wrong with the charging system, perhaps. There's also something wrong with the battery. So you're going to have to have further investigation on that. And it might mean that you need to change the battery. Okay, so let's just do the battery charge test now. Right, what I'm gonna do, put the display there so you can see it. Okay, so as you can see, uh, that is at 12.87, so it's just above uh, the top rating of uh, this battery. Now, I have had this on a trickle charger all night as well to make sure that it's fully topped up as well. So that is within spec. Okay, so the next test we're going to do is actually start the bike up and run it at 3000 RPM and uh, put the probes across the positive and negative terminals of the battery and see what the input voltage is across the battery. If it's anything more than 15.5 volts for this particular motorcycle, then there might be an issue with the voltage regulator, not the rectifier part, the voltage regulator, and that regulates how much voltage is coming out of the, uh, the voltage regulator. Now usually when there is a battery charging issue, that's either usually a worn out battery, now that could be caused by excessive amperage draw with all your motorcycle accessories, or more often than not, especially with Harley Davidson's actually, uh, it could be something like the voltage regulator. So then you would move on to voltage regulator testing, which is for uh, another video. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, start it up, connect the probes and see what's what. Okay, just before we do the test, there are a couple of other figures I want you to uh, bear in mind. The starting drop voltage, in other words, when you hit the starter button, the battery voltage should drop 
because all the power is going to the starter motor and there should be no more than a maximum static voltage drop of one volt uh, let's say as it is now between the battery and the starter so basically that's another test that you can do if there's a drop of one volt then you need to possibly change that cable however on starting the battery voltage will drop but it should be no more than 9.6 volts. If it's anything less than that, then you basically need to replace your battery. Or there could be a fault with your starter motor that's drawing too much power. The other voltage figure I want you to consider is this. The off idle uh, voltage value should be in excess of 14 volts, or around about 14, 14 and a half volts, something like that. That's what you're looking for. Anything less than that, then obviously you're not getting the correct charging voltage from the voltage regulator. Now, anything more than 15.5 volts, as I say, that is a voltage regulator issue. Uh, anything under 14 volts, then you obviously might want to look at a voltage regulator issue as well. But essentially, you're looking at 14, 14 and a half volts charging volts uh, across your battery. You're looking at a, a starting voltage drop at anything above 9.6 volts. And you're looking at a fully charged battery static at 12.7, something like that. Now, just one further thing to note, all these tests should be done off idle at 3000 RPM because that's when you're getting your, your off idle charge from the voltage regulator from the alternator. And also that's what's all powering your systems fully so that you're getting a true picture of what is charging the battery, um, essentially what is drawn away from the battery as well. Okay, so as you saw there, on the start, my voltage dropped to around about 10 volts. So that's perfectly fine. And then when I got to 3000 RPM, my charging voltage was just over 14, 14.1, I believe, 14.2. Uh, so that's absolutely fine. For the voltage regulator, that's testing. The battery is up to fine. It's in tip-top condition. So this is a regular check that you can do to check the status of your battery, uh, but also if it's charging correctly as well. Now there are voltage regulator checks that you can do and alternator checks that you can do as well and I'll run through that on another video. So just remember the minimum voltage on start should be 9.6. Your charging voltage should be anything above 14 but a maximum of 15.5. Now your static battery should be in the region of about 12.7 maximum charge. That's what you want. Now, if your battery static charge is anything less than 12.3, which is 50%, really you need to look at changing your battery and you certainly might have problems starting your bike in cold temperatures. So that's something to bear in mind. It may still start at less than that, at let's say 25%, which is 12 volts, uh, but it really depends where, where you're at with that. So it could be that you just need a battery change and you'll be absolutely fine. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to go to the Harley Parley page on the website where you find a free download of all the electrical facts and figures for the soft tail range, for the Sport Glide in my case, but for the soft tails. Now, I just want to say again, these are standard tests across all vehicles. Doesn't matter if it's a motorcycle, car, pickup, tractor, whatever, they're all the same. But obviously the figures might be slightly different according to the vehicle that you're uh, using. So you might need to get the, the service manual out or the electrical manual or ask a dealership or a mechanic what those figures should be. Right, let me tidy all this up and I'll catch you again on another video. Ta-da!